tried to do it with the Google Docs and stuff, and it just didn't work. Um, this is something that I do basically the first couple days of school. What we've basically talked about at this point is what we're going to do throughout the year, and we try to qualify things with the eighth graders that made it, known as freshmen. Um, and we first try to, I, f I first try to define what is old to them, which of course that starts with me. Um, their parents are old, their grandparents are old. I start asking questions like, well, how old is our country? Oh, don't want to teach about dead people, right? Um, what happened about 2,000 years ago? And I look at my watch and I say, how about 2010 or 11 years ago? And they'll sit there and him and haw like, I have no freaking clue what happened yesterday. You're asking me about 2,000 years ago. And somebody, one of my, my wonderful little churchgoers will speak up, well, Jesus was born. Very good. Is that old? And they'll all say, of course that is. Um, and I'll begin to teach about timelines. And I put it into a prep, and what I was supposed to be showing you there is my disclaimer <clears throat> when I do this, that there's going to be people in the class who are not going to like this. People have found this offensive because I deal with this in the way that I deal with a personal problem that I had, loving science and history, and also turning around and being a Christian as well. And I explain to them that I have had this problem for a long time. And I'd start with a joke. And it's the joke that started me into this little quest of mine a long time ago. And it goes like this. A gentleman is sitting in a breakfast bar in a little cafe outside from his bus stop waiting to go to work, eating breakfast. And he's sitting there pondering his day, and he looks over at the clock and says, man, I've got to start getting to work. And he speaks to God, and God, he says, God, what is time to you? I don't understand the concept of time. For me, I understand, but not to you. What does that mean? And God talks back to him and says, oh, son, God, uh, time means nothing to me. It's like, you know, a thousand years to you is like a flash of light to me. It means absolutely nothing. Hmm, okay. Ah, uh, the lady comes over and gives him his check, and he starts looking through his wallet and has, goes to pay his bill. And he starts thinking about his money, and he's not going to have enough maybe for the end of the week. I mean, he sits there thinking, and he says, uh, again, talking to God, and says, God, what, what is money to you? I mean, what is value? What, what, what has value to you? And uh, God, of course, speaks back to him and says, Ah, my son, money means nothing to me. All the gold, the silver, the jewels, everything in the world mean nothing to you, me because all the treasures you'll need are up here. Wow, this is wonderful. He goes out to his bus stop and he notices the bus pulls up to take him to work that uh, there's an advertisement on the side of the bus for the lottery. He starts thinking about it, jumps up in the bus, sits down in his seat, continues to ponder, and he says, it's a big grin on his face, he says, hey God, can I borrow a million dollars? And God smiles and says, of course you can, my son, just wait a minute. And it takes a minute for them to catch on like it is for y'all right now. And then they begin to understand that time maybe has a different meaning for them. And I go through and I talk about time and what timelines are. And there's a bunch of other stuff involved with that too. But I have a piece of yarn stretched across the front of my classroom that's 30 feet long. And I get it down to the terms that they can understand because they, they don't measure it out themselves. And I take two pencils. Let me borrow two thread pencils. And it gets to, they do simple arithmetic, and they, they go down in time from about 8 million years, 4 million years, something I can't remember what the calculation is I used, because it's on the, the slide. But it gets it all the way down to basically a quarter of an inch on my wall is basically a thousand years. And a quarter of an inch is the width of a pencil, regular standard pencil. And I say, so this, two pencils, basically represents almost all the way back to the birth of Christ. And you just said that was a long time ago. And they all agree. And I hold those two pencils up on the edge of the wall, going from now back to the birth of Christ. And I show them how long that yarn is. I said, don't you think something happened way back there? And it kind of gets their attention. And now they begin to understand the concept of time on a line that they can understand, a visual representation that they can see. And then, of course, I hand the pencils back, and they're like, oh. Questions? That's it.